kiddos, I'm Kendra, K-E-N-D-R-A. Welcome to Counting Coins with Kendra. Would you like to take a look at some coins with me? Yeah? Awesome, come on. I am so happy that you're here with me today. I loved when you came over last time. Do you remember? We learned about this coin, the penny. Do you remember how much it was worth? One cent. The penny is worth one cent. Then we learned about this coin. Do you remember what this one is called? A nickel. This is a nickel. And this one is worth how much? Five cents. The penny and the nickel. Today, we're gonna talk about a new coin. Are you ready? Let's take a look. I've got my coin basket. Every day when a member of my family gets home, we put our coins in this basket. Can you hear them? <laughs> There's a lot in there today. Let's see what we can find. We have a penny, a nickel, <gasps> And I see a new one. This is our coin of the day. This one is much smaller than the other ones. It's silver, like the nickel, and it has someone's face on it. Do you want to learn more about this coin with me? Yeah, awesome, let's do it. The dime is worth 10 cents, and it has some unique pictures on it. Similar to the penny and the nickel, it has the picture of one of the presidents of the United States. Do you know who's on the dime? Franklin D. Roosevelt. Franklin D. Roosevelt was the 32nd president of the United States. First, there was a picture of a lady who represented liberty. But the back side of the dime has been the same since the very beginning. Let's take a look. If you look closely, you can see three different objects on the back of the dime. In the middle is a torch, and on either side of that torch are different types of branches. There's an olive branch and an oak branch. Each of these three things represents something different. The torch stands for liberty or freedom. The olive branch is a symbol for peace, and the oak branch is a symbol for strength and independence. So, freedom, peace, strength, these were three very important ideas when the United States was first starting as a country, and so they felt they were the perfect symbols to put on the back of the dime. Before we count these coins, let's review the four major coins that we see. Penny, nickel, dime, quarter. Penny, nickel, dime, quarter. Penny, nickel, dime, quarter. Always put them in that order. Always put them in that order. How much is a penny? It's not very many. It's just one. A penny's one cent. Penny, nickel, dime, quarter. Penny, nickel, dime, quarter. Always put them in that order. Always put them in that order. How much is a nickel? Show five fingers, give a tickle. Penny, nickel, dime, quarter. Penny, nickel, dime, quarter. Always put them in that order. Always put them in that order. How much is a dime? Let's jump around ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A dime is ten cents. Penny, nickel, dime, quarter. Penny, nickel, dime, quarter. Always put them in that order. Always put them in that order. How much is a quarter? Let's count by fives to show her. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five cents. A quarter is twenty-five cents. Penny, nickel, dime, quarter. Penny, nickel, dime, quarter. Always put them in that order. Always put them in that order. I found four of these little coins in my basket. This coin is called the dime. 
D I M E. Dime. Do you know how much a dime is worth? A dime is worth 10 cents. Let's count how many I have. I have one, two, three, four dimes. So, how much money do I have? If each dime is worth 10 cents, we can count by tens to see how much money we have. 10, 20, 30, 40. I have 40 cents in my coin basket. Amazing! Hold on a second. Okay, I have coins in here, but I found something else. I found a piece of bubble gum. I love bubble gum. When I was really little, I wasn't allowed to have it. But then I got old enough and now I can never get enough of it. Hey, you know what? I know a song all about bubble gum. Do you want to sing it with me? Awesome, let's do it. My mom gave me a penny. My mom gave me a penny. So I could buy some tannies. So I could buy some tannies. But I didn't buy no tannies. I didn't buy no tannies. Instead, I bought some bubble gum. Bazooka, zooka, bubble gum. Bazooka, zooka, bubble gum. Bazooka, zooka, bubble gum. My mom gave me a nickel. My mom gave me a nickel. So I could buy a pickle. So I could buy a pickle. But I didn't buy no pickle. But I didn't buy no pickle. Instead, I bought some bubble gum. Bazooka, zooka, bubble gum. Bazooka, zooka, bubble gum. Bazooka, zooka, bubble gum. My mom gave me a dime. My mom gave me a dime. So I could buy a lime. So I could buy a lime. But I didn't buy a lime. I didn't buy a lime. Instead, I bought some bubble gum. Bazooka, zooka, bubble gum. Bazooka, zooka, bubble gum. Bazooka, zooka, bubble gum. My mom gave me a quarter. My mom gave me a quarter. So I could buy some water. So I could buy some water. But I didn't buy no water. I didn't buy no water. Instead, I bought some bubble gum. Bazooka, zooka, bubble gum. Bazooka, zooka, bubble gum. Bazooka, zooka, bubble gum. lot of fun. I love bubble gum, but remember, always check with the adult to make sure that you're old enough to try it. Okay, kiddos, now it's time for the one dollar challenge. Do you think we can make a dollar out of just dimes? Yeah, let's try it. Ready? Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 70, 80, 90, 100. We just counted to a dollar in just dimes. Now, how many dimes are in a dollar? Let's count how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are 10 dimes in a dollar. Wow, the dime really is about the number 10. There are 10 dimes in a dollar and each dime is worth 10 cents. I think that should be our number of the day, 10. That means we have a dollar, so let's sing the dollar song. I got a dollar. I got a dollar, I got a dollar, hey, 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 hey. I got a dollar, I got a dollar, I got a dollar, hey, 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 hey. Ten dimes, ten dimes, ten dimes, hey, 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 hey. Ten dimes, ten dimes, I got a dollar, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Thank you so much for doing the one dollar challenge with me. a very special friend of mine. This is Penny. Penny, can you say hello? Oh, 
Oh, hi friends. I hope you're having a great day. Penny was just telling me something so exciting. She said that she earned some money. Right, Penny? That's right. I earned a lot of money by doing extra work around the community. I helped clean up the park and they paid me money. So now I have tons of money. Wow, Penny, that's really special. That's amazing. What coins did you get? Can we see? Well, I would love to show you. Let's take a look. I got a penny, a nickel, a dime, and a quarter. Isn't that amazing? Wow, Penny, that's a lot of money. What are you gonna do with it? Oh, I have big plans. I've put it all in my coin purse and I am going shopping. You're putting it all in your coin purse? Well, of course. How else will I spend it on new things? Well, Penny, I don't know if you've heard this before, but a lot of times when I get money, I like to split it up and only spend some of it. Why on earth would you do that? Well, because Penny, it's good to give to those in need and also to save for something big. I really don't think that's going to work for me. I mean, I got some coins, but it wasn't that much. Penny, even giving a little bit can make a big difference. Let's take a look at your coins. You have a penny, a nickel, a dime, and a quarter. Yes, that's right. Let's put 25 cents in spend, and then we can put six cents in save, and then we could put the dime in give. I don't think that that's a good idea. What good will a dime do? Dimes can't really get you anything. Well, actually, Penny, I know a story about a time when the dime made a big difference for a lot of people. Do you want to hear it? Do you want to hear the story about how the dime helped lots of people? Let's learn about it. Once upon a time, long ago, Almost a hundred years ago, there was a president, a leader of the United States. He was a great leader, but he had a secret. No one knew it for a while, but he was sick. He had a sickness called polio, which means parts of his body didn't work, and he had to use a wheelchair to help him get around. Once the news spread that the president, the leader, was sick, he wanted to help other people with the same disease. So he started raising money to help other people with polio. But no one was really helping out. Just like my friend Penny, they thought, I don't have enough money to give to others. I need to spend it on myself for food and clothing and shelter. Then someone named Eddie came to the rescue. Eddie was a very funny and friendly man and he knew that the president wanted to help others, but they needed more people to help and to give some of their money. And so he went on the radio. Mr. Eddie said, everyone can do what they can to make a big difference. He said, even children can make a difference if we all do just a little. Imagine if you gave a dime. To you, that's only 10 cents. But then, what if 10 people gave a dime? That's a dollar. What if a million people gave a dime? That would be $100,000. And so, Mr. Eddie went on the radio and said, it's okay if you don't have a lot to give, just send a dime to the president and he can help other people with this disease. Now it took a little bit of time, but eventually, Thousands and thousands and millions of dimes were mailed to the president. And you know what? They raised over $260,000 to help people with polio. And all of those people only gave a dime. This became known 
as the March of Dimes. And that's still an organization today where people help those with polio. You see, Penny, even a dime can make a big difference if we all work together. So is it okay if we put that last coin in the give section of your bank? Well, all right, I suppose if you put it that way, that's fine by me. I still get to spend most of it, right? <laughs> yes, Penny, you get to spend most of your money. Just save a little bit, and even just a dime here or there can make a big difference when you're helping others. Well, I can't say giving is my favorite thing, but I do feel better knowing I can make a difference. One step at a time. I'm glad you feel that way, Penny. And I'm really proud that you decided to give to others and not just keep it all for yourself. Well, Penny, have a great day. Enjoy shopping. Oh, thank you, I will. Goodbye. The March of Dimes is still going on today. You can even donate to the March of Dimes to help people in need. Just one little dime can make a big difference if we all work together. And you know what? After President Roosevelt died, they honored him and put his face on the dime in memory of this special event. Now let's hear a song from our friend Jules all about how we can give, save, and spend our money. One, two, one, two. I'm gonna save, save, save my money for a pair of roller skates. Today I made five dollars for helping clean the yard. I picked up leaves, watered the plants and trees. I earned my own money. What am I gonna do with it all? I'm gonna save, save, save my money for a pair of roller skates. I'm gonna spend, spend, spend what I need on little things each day. I'm gonna give, give, give what I can to help others along the way. I'm gonna save, save, save my money for that pair of roller skates. I'll give some away, spend a little today, saving up for my roller skates. I'll give some away, spend a little today, saving up for my roller skates. My roller skates. I'm gonna save, save, save my money for a pair of roller skates. I'm gonna spend, spend, spend what I need on little things each day. I'm gonna give, give, give what I can to help others along the way. I'm gonna save, save, save my money for that pair of roller skates. I'm gonna save, save, save my money for my pair of roller skates. Hi, I have some special baskets here. Do you wanna see what's inside them with me? Let's take a look. So I have three baskets. And they're numbered. One, two, three. Let's see what's inside. Oh, wow. Do you hear that? That one sounds really full. Let's see what's inside. Oh, my gosh. Look at all these coins. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. I have ten pennies. Remember, each penny is worth how much? One cent. So, ten pennies is ten cents. Let's take a look in the orange basket. Oh, I took a sneak peek. It sounds a little different. This one only has two coins. Take a look. But these ones are different. Do you remember what these ones are called? This is a nickel. And a nickel is worth how much? Five cents, that's right. So five cents plus five more cents is 
10 cents. So two nickels makes 10 cents. Let's look at the third one. Oh, wow. That doesn't sound like a lot of money at all. Let's see what's inside. It's the coin of the day. Awesome. It's a dime. A dime. And do you know how much this is worth? 10 cents. That's right. So let's take a look at this. I have three different piles of money here. I have 10 pennies, two nickels, and one dime. Even though they look different, they're all worth the same amount of money. This is 10 cents, this is 10 cents, and this is 10 cents. Because each coin has a different value. Now that we've counted the coins, let's put them in our legacy bank. I always like to start with give. I like to give back to those in need or to someone who might need help. Then I like to save for something special like a big present for myself or maybe a new car when I can drive or something really big and special. And then the last category is spend, to spend on fun little things like more bazooka bubblegum. <laughs> Thanks for counting the coins in the baskets with me. <sighs> Jeez Louise, I didn't realize how late it was getting. Thank you so much for learning about dimes with me today. Would you like to come back again sometime and learn about more coins? You would? Oh, that sounds wonderful. Remember, my name is Kendra, K-E-N. D-R-A, and I would love to count more coins with you next time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.